Morning, folks. We've got some amazing news from Mars and the Galactic Current Sheet. We're going to scold just a few hundred of you and hope you can take it like an adult. And we are starting with our star at spaceweathernews.com. We find the last 24 hours on the sun quiet except for a small filament snap top right. Minor eruption, no concern there. We are unlikely to get big CMEs our way, at least not from solar flares here in the coming days, as the active regions are all turning towards the far side on the right. Meanwhile, the tiny CME we expected to arrive at Earth impacted last night and drove minor geomagnetic storm activity, which is waning back this morning. Okay, folks, I wish I didn't have to do this, but stop freaking out over Tonga. It was less than half the size of Pinatubo, which made a barely noticeable cooling of the atmosphere for a couple months. This one will not. The tsunamis people are talking about, maximum size of 2.7 feet, which is not a tsunami, that's barely a wave. And no, a small solar snap did not cause this eruption. Where to even begin with what's wrong with that idea? And this volcano was beyond overdue. We've been at very low volcanic activity for literally decades, and even a couple centuries. And that little last line on the right there, that's the 1991 Pinatubo eruption. So picture a line half that size if we are being generous to Tonga, and then zoom back out. Tell me again what has you so excited over this event. Feel like I'm talking to you personally? You can either sack up and move forward like an observer or unsubscribe like a snowflake. Neither will affect the rest of us one bit, but for your sake, I suggest the first one, because snowflakes melt when it's hot, kid. Now we're off to Mars where new and shocking carbon levels found in a drill sample are the sort of material you expect to see with life on the planet now or in the past. While there are technically a bunch of boxes needing to be checked before we claim there is or was life on Mars, this is a magnificent find and one that was absolutely necessary if there had ever been life up there. Now folks, the top two stories today hit the galactic current sheet. That's a topic that requires watching our Christmas Day documentary and for those who have, we have another look at the waves straddling the galactic equator. But instead of gamma signatures or polarized indication of magnetic fields, this is a straight up dust extinction mapping and looking at the right angle astride of the galactic center, which is where you have to look to see that undulation and which I'm amateurishly tracing with my cursor there. And here's the second paper. Folks, we've gone over those identifications and the evidence we're taking a hit from one of the waves right now. That would be the dust in the corona, interplanetary space, and the changes on all the planets in the sun, not just the Earth. And here we find more evidence here at home. They are noticing an enhancement of the interstellar particle population, and while they can't figure out if it's an ionic enhancement or an unaccounted for source, the galactic current sheet actually explains both and demands they come as one, unaccounted for by them, not by those watching all the pieces of the puzzle like you. We greatly appreciate your support and your taking licks like an observer. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.